I'm the Genius Asian. Welcome to the Genius family. We use this milk jug to make a long oil funnel with a handle. Near the bottom of the jug, cut through two sides like this, then bend the bottom inside out to form a handle. See, this is a nice handle. The milk jug opening fits snugly to the oil port. It is pretty stable. You can pour oil in easily with a one quart bottle. Since the Subaru oil port's left side is two and a half inches lower than the oil filter next to it, and the right side is four inches lower than the battery, without some kind of a guide or funnel, not even a small bottle can fit in horizontally, and a large bottle is even more impossible. However, as you can see, this milk bottle is high enough to make even pouring from a five quart large bottle very easy. But maybe you don't drink milk. Still, you probably use toilet paper, meaning you end up with empty cardboard tubes. We make three cuts to the core, the cardboard tube. One end has one cut, the other end has two cuts. Use duct tape to tape the one cut end to make it smaller in diameter than the oil port. The other end we bend down to open the wall so that the neck of the oil bottle can rest on it. Fix the cardboard tube in the oil port. Hold the bottle horizontally. The wall of the tube in front of it will prevent oil from overshooting. If you are traveling without any tools, but have a paper or plastic cup, you can pour oil into a small cup and then pour from the cup to the oil port. Do this several times. Then, when there's less oil in the bottle and you can tip the bottle downward without spilling, you can pour right from the bottle. Below, we will show you how to DIY an anti-splash oil drain pan and the best free no splash oil catcher. We measure the car's clearance and mark the height of the container. Cut the container with a saw. This container is free because we would throw it away anyway after the detergent is used up. It is anti-splash because the sides are higher than a regular oil pan. We cut and bend a notch so that a hand may go through. Use a foot to loosen the oil drain plug if your hand is not strong enough. We slide the oil drain pan in, put a hand in the notch to loosen the plug, then the plug can be loosened more with a hand without the wrench. Note, the oil will not leak right away. And because of the high wall, there is no splash. Optionally, you may make a spout. I lit a candle to heat the plastic and used a tree stick to make a hole. Tested it, it does not drip. Many years ago, I showed you how to DIY an oil filter wrench. Here is one option. First, make a knot like this. One loop, then a second loop. Put the two loops over the filter. See, this is a very good knot, tight and sturdy. By the way, learning this knot is good for many other purposes. You should continue for a few loops and make a final knot to finish so that it does not come loose. You can spray a little bit of water on it to make it even less likely to slip. The next key thing is how to turn it. Use a wrench with a hole like this. Put the rope through the hole. Wrap the rope over the wrench handle like this. Now it is getting tighter and tighter. If you are not strong enough to turn it, use a second wrench to turn like this. This can provide very strong torque. Check out my other videos for more DIY oil filter wrenches using other things you have. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own genius tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the Genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.